Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to share with you a Scentsy haul that I placed just before the Bring Back My Bar was over. And it just came, I would say like five days or so ago. Um, I guess with the 4th of July holiday and everything, it kind of delayed shipping and whatnot. But super excited that I got that in. And I also want to share with you, um, before I get started on my haul, a special friend mail that I received. So um, we'll go ahead and get started. I'll start with that first and then we'll do the haul. So when I did my The Ones I Wish I Had from Sensi video, I mentioned that I never got to try Sweet Plum Pastry and how, you know, I hope it comes back in an upcoming Bring Back My Bar or like it picks them up in a flash sale. And Natalie was so sweet and thought of me and messaged me and asked me if she would mind if I would mind if she would send me a bar to try, which just honestly blew me away. I'm so grateful to her and honestly to all of you that I've connected with so far on this platform, you guys. It's just, you guys are just amazing. And Natalie, the fact that you thought of me and took the step to reach out to me and consider me to send something to, it's just, it touched my heart and I know I've thanked you already a couple of times but it just it made me emotional to be honest um I mentioned in my Y Wax video that you know my close friends and nobody in my close circle really like understands like my love for home fragrance or they don't share the love for home fragrance like I have you know they all probably think I'm nuts but <laughs> I just love that you know we all could connect and understand and you know, you all have just been so amazing and welcoming to me on this platform. And Natalie, the thought that you put behind this just made my whole week. I just thank you so much. I'm sure that you all know Natalie with Melt with Nat and Jack. Um, I highly doubt that you have found my channel before you found her. She's just amazing. She's one of the most friendly, welcoming generous people on this platform she her videos just always make my day when i see her post it just feels like i'm sitting with her in her house hanging out with a friend talking about wax and our love for home fragrance and she is just amazing she is i love her content i will put her channel down below but like i said i'm pretty sure you all know who she is um and i really want to her to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. I know she's close to that, so I'm hoping she gets there soon because there's no one that deserves it more. So let me stop rambling before I get emotional and I'll um, show you. So this came in the mail. It came in a, you know, like a padded flat rate envelope, but is this cute little gift bag with the pretty tissue paper inside, which sorry if the crinkling annoys you, but it was packaged beautifully with the beautiful floral tissue paper so she sent me not only did she send me a bar of sweet plum pastry which I love it I think it's so pretty I don't have any plum that I can think of in my collection oh, it's beautiful it's like bright and juicy you do get like a touch of like a cinnamon pastry in the background Oh my god, this is beautiful. I'm so excited to warm this. And when we were chatting, she was like, you know, like, I like to mix it with different bakery. So she sent me butter pecan to melt it with. And you guys, I wish this was available now because this is so good. This smells like when you go to, like, an ice cream shop or a creamery and you get, like, the freshly made ice cream. Oh my gosh, just so buttery and rich and decadent. I really like this. So I am so excited to mix these two. I think they will be gorgeous together. I'm so excited. Natalie, <laughs> I can't even thank you enough. I'm so excited. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh my God. And then guys, not only did she send me that, she sent me a beautiful ankle bracelet from a shop called Sunshine, Sunshine Daydream, which I guess is a... It says right here, Point Pleasant Beach. So it must be like a little gift shop near her. Look how beautiful this anklet is. Stunning. Oh my God, it would actually look so cute with the top I'm wearing today. I can't wait to wear this. It's so cute. We are finally getting like beach appropriate weather here in New York. So I can't wait to wear this. 
so pretty. Like all the color and detail in this is just stunning. I love it. I, I'm getting emotional even looking at this. I'm probably being annoying with saying thank you so much, but Natalie, seriously, thank you so much. I really appreciate your friendship and your thoughtfulness and everything. It really just touched me. So thank you so, so much. Blew me away. Um, so we'll go ahead and get into the Scentsy haul. I have a couple of bars here, like I said, are from the Bring Back My Bar. I just wanted to grab a couple before the catalog, uh, before the catalog, before they Bring Back My Bar promotion was done. And then I also got some things from the summer catalog that I've been wanting to try, but I was just kind of had them in my cart until I was ready to place an order. So we'll go ahead and jump right into those. Just move this out of the way. So I unpackaged everything. It came, you know, in the envelope mailer type thing with, with the um, ice packs and everything. Everything came beautifully packaged oh. and intact. So the first one I have here is Kukui and Coconut. I haven't tried this yet, but I love the color of the wax. Gorgeous. Oh my God, it almost matches my nails. Um, beautiful, creamy coconut and you get like a woodiness in the background. I really like this. I've been on like a coconut kick these last couple of weeks, I just love coconut. And the last couple of weeks, I've just been wanting to melt it like crazy. This is beautiful. I'm sure I'm going to love this. I've seen a couple of you guys as well haul and warm this and enjoy it. So I'm really excited. So Kukui and Coconut is tropical coconut, Kukui nut. Lounge on a bed of soft jasmine, which you do get like a slight body care-esque floral in the background so that must be the jasmine but i'm sure it's gonna warm beautifully together so that's kukui and coconut next i have here is skinny dippin this is a really pretty strong on cold really pretty tropical fruit scent so the description on skinny dippin is fresh green apples perfectly harmonized with refreshing melons and juicy pears so i'm not a big melon person at all i know i've mentioned this before i usually steer away from melon but this scent you pick up a lot of the pear blended with the melon which to me is beautiful i think this is going to be a really nice tropical scent i think this would even be pretty with like a coconut type scent like a kui and coconut or something so i'm sure if I'm not a fan of this on its own, I think it'll be really nice to mix with like a greenery type scent, a coconut type scent. I think this will be like pretty versatile to blend with. So I'm excited to try that. Next, I have Camu Camu. I love the color of this one too. So cute. This one is super strong. Super strong, beautiful tropical fruit scent. This just puts you in like the summer state of mind. Like this makes me want to be sitting on the beach with a drink in my hand. Gorgeous. So Camu Camu is described as tropical oasis of lush Mandarin, Camu Camu and passion fruit, which I don't even have any idea of what Camu Camu even is. <laughs> I'll probably look it up after this video. But beautiful tropical fruit scent. I'm excited to warm this. And based on how strong it is just in the clam, I think this is going to perform beautifully. Next, I have a Bring Back My Bar in Beach. So to be honest, this was my wild card out of the Bring Back My Bars because I'm not a papaya fan just off of like vendor wax papaya that I've tried. It just, I don't know, it just came off very odd to me i did not enjoy it at all but i've heard a few of you rave about how much you love this and how strong it is so i threw it in my order as my wild card and you guys i do really like this on cold sniff when i got this order in i had my fiance sniff through them and pick his favorites and this was in his top three i was surprised but he did he really liked it so you do get it comes off like a like a tropical body care to me And I have no idea about why, but when I smell this, I think of Bath and Body Works's banana, banana leaf and passion flower or something like that. Banana 
banana flower and passion oh my god you guys my words are like a little jumbled up it's like the banana flower and banana flower and passion fruit i don't know so you, if you're familiar with bath and body works you know what i'm talking about i feel like such an idiot but yes that's exactly what this reminds me of and when i read the description it doesn't even have any of that in it but i think it's just the tropical like body care vibe that this gives me that's why it's reminding me of that but beach is papaya and honeydew sweetened with a hint of coconut milk and now that i read the description you do definitely get coconut milk beautiful i really like this i am surprised and i'm glad i went out of my comfort zone and picked something up that i didn't think i'd like because on cold sniff i really enjoy this Next, we have Coastal Sunset. I love the packaging on this too. And it's like, it's my favorite color. It's my favorite color, beautiful purple. So Coastal Sunset is creamy coconut and sandalwood set the scene for warm amethyst amber. I pretty much always love a scent that has sandalwood and amber in it. And then with me lately having been on the coconut kick, I was like, I need to try this. This is so pretty. This is like a cozy, warm coconut scent. I really, really like this. This would be beautiful as body care too. I wish there would be like a candle that was like this. This is really pretty. Um, this comes off to me as a bedroom scent. So I may warm it in there first and based on how it performs, I would warm this in my open concept like on an evening where we're just hanging out, watching a movie, relaxing. It's funny because I don't know if it's the color of the wax playing tricks on me, but the cozy vibe that this gives me, it, I almost pick up like a touch of lavender in the background. But I think it's the color of the wax that's like playing tricks with me, but you, I don't know. I do. The more I smell it, I feel like I pick up like a, like a touch of lavender. But I think I'm just going crazy, but... Anyway, really like Coastal Sunset. Next, I have what is, Tangerine Cream Sickle. Oh my god, this packaging is so adorable. Oh, love it. Very light on cold sniff, but it's exactly as you would think it would smell like. Like from the ice cream man, it's those ice puffs that have the orange on the outside and the vanilla ice cream on the inside which is literally what is on the packaging it's perfect that's exactly what it smells like which is nostalgic to me because i loved those as a kid i still do but i haven't gotten the ice cream man yet this summer <laughs> this is pretty i'm hoping when this warms it'll be stronger but it's very light in the clam but i love the smell of this so this is Icy tangerine blended with mango and vanilla ice cream swirl to make the sweetest tropical treat. I don't get any mango in this. Maybe when this warms, it comes out. If you've warmed tangerine creamsicle and can remember if mango comes out, let me know. I wouldn't mind. I'm just curious. So that's tangerine creamsicle. Next is another bring back my bar in watermelon patch. I know so many of you have described this as like a watermelon Jolly Rancher and yes that is what I get from this and I also picture like the sour patch kids watermelons you know like the little fruit sliced watermelons with the sour sugar on the outside that's also what I get from this this is really nice I'm, I'm very hit or miss with watermelon but I could see myself really liking this one because it's not the rind of the watermelon it's like candied watermelon i think i stuck this in my club because i thought i was really going to enjoy this so this is sweet vine ripened watermelon which yes it's sweet and yes it's watermelon but it's not vine ripened to me it's candied which is so good really like that next i have mango matcha oh, this is nice this is super strong in the clam super strong mango and then you get like a zestiness which must be the matcha beautiful so mango matcha is a mix of mango nectar and matcha sorbet top of the sli slice of salted cucumber and pure sugar cane i'm pretty sure the zestiness in the background is coming from the matcha but who knows maybe it's the cucumber 
see how this does on warm. I'm really excited to try this. Next is a Bring Back My Bar in Churro Churro. I know I just talked about this in my most recent empties that I love this. This performed beautifully for me. I just can't get enough of this one. I'm pretty sure I stuck like two bars of this in my club because I want to stockpile all this. I love it so much. This will be a great blender. I think this will be really nice if you're melting like a coffee scent and you want some bakery to add to it. I love this so much. I'm going to gift a few of these to my sister too because I think she'll really like it. Oh my god, you guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Performed great for me. Smell, mine smells strong in the clam, so I'm sure it'll only get better with age too. Next, I have another Bring Back My Bar in Ghostly Greetings. I really like this one too. I tend to really like those deep musky scents. So I knew when I ordered this that I mo more than likely was going to love it. And I really, really do. You get the spiced berry in the background, which almost to me is like a spiced plum. And you get the depth of like a muskiness and a patchouli beautiful i can't wait till like the end of september when it starts to get crisp in the evening i know i'll love this when i warm it put on a halloween movie oh my god this is beautiful so ghostly greetings is spooky black plum spice berry and a dash of bourbon are brewed in a cauldron and ready to beckon you so i can't wait to warm this it's actually supposed to like rain and thunderstorm all day today so i might even do this later if it's like cold and damp and dark outside i think this would be really really nice today oh, love it next is another bring back my bar and happy birthday it's funny because sometimes when i smell this i pick up like the chocolate in it but other times i smell it and i just picture like a funfetti birthday cake and right now when I smell it, I'm getting the Funfetti birthday cake. I'm not getting any chocolate at all. It's like some days I do get it and some days I don't. Let me see what the back of the bar smells like. If I could get this out of the packaging. Huh. So the front of the clam, I'm getting like more of Funfetti. And then the back almost smells like it's like a marbled cake like good chocolate. That is weird. The front and the back smell different to me. So I'm guessing when these, when this melts, they'll kind of blend together and I probably will get more of the chocolate on warm. Either way, I'm not mad about it. I can't wait to warm this. I picked this up already. I did another smaller Bring Back My Bar haul a couple weeks ago and I didn't have time to film it. So I do have another one of this already that I didn't melt yet. But I was sure when I smelled it that I would really enjoy it. So I just picked up another one and I stuck it in my club too. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure I stuck like at least half if not more than we Bring Back My Bars in my club because... I didn't get to try all of them yet and I was afraid that if I didn't put them in my club and then I melt the ones that I have and love it then I would be missing out. So <laughs> I put like more than half of them in my club and put start out with two bars of each because I only have a quarterly and it doesn't ship until like the second week of August so I said I have plenty of time to melt them and decide and then edit from there but you know FOMO gets the best of me so I had to at least do that. <laughs> All right, guys, we have two more. So the next one is Ocean Air and Coconut Water. I've been really excited to get this one and smell it because I've heard great things about it. Very light in the clam. This is like beautiful salty sea air. This reminds me of Saltwater Breeze from Bath and Body Works. If any of you have tried the body care or smelled it, it was in this most recent SAS. Let me know what you think. This reminds me of Saltwater Breeze, but with a, with the coconut, which Saltwater Breeze from Bath and Body Works doesn't have coconut, but this smells like Saltwater Breeze with added coconut. Really, really pretty. I like this. It almost is like a sunblock type coconut, which I'm not mad about. Like I said, I've been in a coconut craze, so any type of coconut I'm loving. This is beautiful. 
I'm hoping it's stronger when I warm it, but um, I did put this in my club too. So if anything, I'll just let the next bar sit and we'll go from there. So this is coconut water and white driftwood join carefree ocean air for a perfect day on the shore. Yep. Really, really pretty. I like this a lot. And last but not least, this is the controversial <laughs> Pacific Mist, which I just spoke about also in my most recent empties that I posted. Um, I cannot get enough of this. Oh my God, you guys. Just beautiful, fresh air. I love it so much. So now that I've smelt these back to back, Pacific Mist has more of like a clean vibe to it, like a clean salty sea air vibe, whereas um, Ocean Air and Coconut Water smells like more, more of a sunscreen-esque salty sea air, whereas this one is like more uplifting and refreshing and it has more of like a perfume-esque or clean-esque vibe to it. So this is more of like sunblock salty sea air and this one's more of like uplifting and refreshing salty sea air. I love this so much. I think I have like three bars of this now and I stuck two bars on my club because I'm obsessed. I think this will be so pretty even mixed with like I think this would be beautiful mixed with like skinny dipping or camu camu or even like kukui and coconut I think would be beautiful with this too. Um, I think this would be beautiful with like any fresh apple scents. I have make a splash which I think would be really pretty with this because it has like apple and melon. So I'm really excited to like blend this and see what I could come up with with this that I will love even more but on this own on its own this performs really well for me and it's beautiful but I think this will be so fun to mix with too not team public bathroom and I'm laughing at myself because when I talked about this in my empties and mentioned a public bathroom and when I first heard people say that this smelled like a public bathroom for some reason my mind went to like porter potty or like dirty grimy public bathroom you know that hasn't been attended to but then I'm thinking yesterday I'm like duh when people say that they're probably thinking of like an upscale maybe restaurant or hotel bathroom which I I mean I don't I still don't get that but honestly that's more understandable than like a dirty porter potty or like a public park bathroom or something for some reason that's just automatically where my mind went when I heard people say that and I was like are you out of your mind <laughs> But then I'm like, duh, they're probably thinking of like a nice classy <laughs> bathroom. <laughs> either way, I don't get that either at all. But I love it so much. So that's Pacific Mist. That is it, you guys. I wanted to do this video pretty quickly because I know my videos as of late have been longer than I've wanted them to be. So I'm sorry if this went very quickly, if I spoke too quickly, but I kind of wanted to keep things moving along so I didn't ramble even though I probably did anyway. But um, like I said, I, I just, Natalie, <sighs> thank you so much. I can't wait to get to warming these. I actually wanted to warm these yesterday, but I wanted to wait till I was filming so I could show them quick without them being broken apart or empty. But um, I think I'm gonna melt these tomorrow and I cannot wait to experience them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you all so much for watching. It is Friday, so have a great weekend. Um, I hope you're all enjoying your week. Had a great week, and we will chat soon. Take care. Bye.